A small puppy dies a United Airlines flight. They call it an accident. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Today's video is a little bit more serious one. Recently, just this Monday, United Airlines claims they had an unfortunate accident. Uh, there was a young mother flying with her two children on a United Airlines flight. She was flying from Houston, Texas to New York's airport, LaGuardia. And during that flight, they had a small 10-month-old puppy, a little French bulldog, who they actually paid additional to, to have him as a carry-on. So he's with them in the plane flying, you know, from the airport in Houston. And somehow that small pup was forced to be put on in overhead luggage. So, you know, he's flying with the family, um, supposed to be under their seat with them. Um, was forced by the flight attendant to go be stored in the overhead bin. During, the, during that flight, he died. Um, it just so happens that I'm, I'm actually at an airport about to fly off to Mexico. And, you know, I just finished reading the story and it's just so hard to believe. Um, especially the response from United. So during that flight, it was a three-hour flight. The, you've got, we've got this small dog who's stored in a small space, very confined, no oxygen. And unfortunately, um, he died. A couple of sort of more pertinent facts. All the passengers on board were clear that the family communicated to the flight attendant, we have a dog, you can't put him overhead. The flight attendant is claiming she didn't understand, didn't realize it was a dog. At the same point, it was obvious there was a dog, um, but the small pup was barking um, while um, he was still alive in the overhead bin. There was no question that it was clearly communicated to the flight attendant. Secondly, the flight attendant knew. This was a dog. So here was someone who was either dismissive of the people having a dog, secondarily, you know, could care less about the welfare of dog. And then third, on top of the fact you've got United Airlines, you know, defending this person, saying it's an accident. They didn't know. No, none of that is okay. First of all, it's not okay that this happens. More importantly, it's not okay the way United Airlines has responded. It just so happens that United Airlines has the worst record in the last year of animals dying on their planes. Uh, the Department of Transport in the United States reports on all airlines and animals flying on airlines. United, United carries the largest number of animals. United has by far the largest percent of death. They had 18 primarily dogs die last year um, on their flights. You know, it's not just sort of one so so-called bad employee, one accident. Clearly United Airlines has a problem with how they treat animals, how they carry animals. Ultimately their you know, underlying philosophy and belief of, you know, do they even value animals in the first place? Obviously they don't. They've had 18 dogs die last year. And even more importantly, just their whole response you know, to what happened. A few other points I wanted to make. On top of the fact, this was a French Bulldog. So, they're called the brachycephalic breed, which is fairly unique, meaning they have these pushed-in faces. They have additional difficulty breathing, and anytime you put them into a confined space, you greatly in increase the chance of them having some type of breathing distress. And this was the classic example. They put this dog in this small space, poor airflow, high temperature. You're asking for this dog to have a respiratory crisis, which is what happened and the dog died. I mean, this, there's no way this dog should ever, ever be in any kind of, type of confined space. The family did everything correctly, putting their dog, you know, carrying their dog with them, having them, having them fly with them, you know, at their seat, at their feet, which is what they should be. I mean, they, ah. I mean, first of all, it's just so frustrating this happens, so unbelievable this happens. And secondly, just their crappy, crappy response. So I'm curious, you know, what do you guys think? I mean, Will you ever fly with United? I know, sure, I won't. Secondly, you know, is it enough to say, you know, we're really sorry, but it was an accident? Of course it's not. I mean, uh, just so hard to believe that that can happen now. So thank you guys for watching this edition of Entry Secrets, and I sure appreciate your comments, your feedback, and you know, really what you think, and you know, what do you think is a fair punishment? I mean, what should be done so something like this doesn't happen again?